loves. I hope everybody's doing well. I just picked up my package from the Dollar Tree. I saw this on one of the Dollar Tree Facebook pages. Somebody had... My cat wants my attention. Um, somebody... Come here. Come sit with me. Wow. Meow, meow. Hey. Come sit with Mom. Come on. She's deaf, so I don't even know why I'm bothering, but she, I think she hears me a little bit. Okay. Anyway, it's Dollar Tree. They had this little village, this whole little village. And if you ordered it online, you can get the whole set for $15. And you actually got a little village piece that you couldn't get in the stores. That's what they said online. So I saw this like whole set for 15 bucks, getting an extra special little piece. And you can have it shipped to the store for free. So I could have had it shipped home like here, but it would have cost me. I don't know, a few bucks, six bucks, seven dollars. I don't know, something like that. And I was like, no, the Dollar Tree is right down the road. Had it shipped there for free, and I just picked it up, showed my email, and there we go. It was easy enough. So let's see what's in this little. It's so cute. It, everything is just look. It's all packed in one little box. Fifteen bucks. Very cool. So first, I'm gonna go into these little packs. We have fairy garden figures. So we have little gnomes. Do you die about how cute this is? I want to get like a big freaking planter and just put this all in there and maybe put like some succulents or some ivy, maybe some of these little guys in there. This one I have out here because he had some type of, I don't know, some type of like something living on it. And I was like, I have to get it away from the other plants, but I don't want it to die. And I have done pretty damn good because that thing was about dead. And I got whatever was living on it off. It's some natural killer, and it seems to be doing some some kind of good. I don't know. That ain't the point, anyways. Back to the fairy garden figures. Look at like little bird houses and a light. Oh my goodness! So we have little gnomes, adorable, so adorable. Okay, and we have a bird bath and. A little wagon and a little watering can we have fairies of course those are the best if I see these I'm probably gonna pick up more because I want a lot of fairies in my fairy garden and these are the cutest too I would definitely pick up another pack of these if I see them so we have the owl the snail and the turtle yeah and a frog on top of the turtle I mean do you just die are they just so freaking stinking adorable I love that okay what else it's like a rainy day I'm in slow motion so I hope you don't mind long videos for me we have a little seated hi baby wow she's vocal today a little seated like bench out of wood like the little stumps oh my god I can't I'm just going to keep saying that because I just, I think this is so cute. And it's packed so nice. Everything is good. I'll try to keep everything in there nice. We have the little, like, pagoda. Is that what they're called? I don't know where that even came from. I don't know how I know that. You ever have words just come to you and you're like, how do I know that word? That's how I felt about pagoda. Okay. We have an outhouse. This one's heavy compared to the other ones. This one feels like solid. They're all nice, though. I mean, you can't beat it. 15 bucks. There's quite a lot of pieces in here. And we have a little bridge. Little flowers. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. Like, I want to get a little fountain. Put a little fountain in. I mean, I just, I can go crazy with making this little village. I have to show one after I do it. I have to show it. With a little welcome sign. The little gate. Oh. This Again, I die. I can't. I die. Okay. We have a windmill. So this feels so light, like lighter. Not so light, but a lot lighter compared to the outhouse for some reason. This is so nice. So like the detail. Look at that. I'm not going to keep repeating myself, even though that's what I'm good for. And then we have some bigger pieces. I saw some people complain because the dimensions are a little like this one is big. This what does this not look like a house that has like eyeballs and a mouth and he's a little angry. He might have anger issues. This is probably the house in the village the children don't go near. Stay away from this house. This is the danger house. You will not ever come out of this house. I I just yeah this is this is the house that you gotta watch out for. This is like the equivalent of a white van with free candy. 
That's what that is, okay? That's okay. Every village has one. We have the mushroom one. This one, see, this is really light, too. It's so strange. They're all different. But so cute. I mean, it looks like a freaking mushroom. Look at that. It has a window right there. <laughs> dead. Again, dead. This is so cute. So we have our little shroom. What else do we have? We have two more pieces here. And nothing is broken. Everything is so, like, oh, my God. Little welcome. And I don't know which. I think it's one of these big ones. Like, it might be this one. I don't know which it is. But there's one of these that it said was exclusive to the set and it will not be in the stores i'm not sure if you know which it is please let me know because i just like to know i'll probably look and see back and look back and see if i could find out which one it is and then here's the last little house so cute like a little windmill looking like oh my goodness look at that windmill but it looks like it would be with a windmill do you know what i'm saying <laughs> mushrooms this is so cute i love this set i am absolutely thrilled to death i think it's worth every penny and if you are into this i really recommend picking this up online while they still have them i think this is such a great springtime like craft such a cute thing you can get a couple of them and do them together with kids or nieces or cousins or school if you have like tea if you're a teacher this would be something that would be probably really neat i don't know i just think it's just really cute and I wouldn't, I have not been going to Dollar Tree very much to, you know, actually find them all myself. I just, I'm trying not to buy unnecessary things because I am a collector of unnecessary things and it needs to stop. But that I just thought was so adorable and I wanted to do something with it with my, with my, um, with my plants I have. And I, it's little, they're little, it's a little village and I had to have it. So let me know if you guys got it. Let me know what you think and tons of love, lots of blessings. Bye.